This kind of mishearing actually happens so often in English that sometimes it even gives us new words. So like a newt, the little critter, used to be an oot. Uh, the word nickname used to actually be an eek name, like to eek out a living. It meant like a little additional bit, an extra bit. So an eek name was an additional name. We're ha seeing that happen now with another. We say a whole nother. And there was a phrase for the once, which was for the once, and it meant for like a specific purpose. And that's where we get the, the word nonce, like a one-off thing. Um, the Nash in Nashville comes from an old phrase, atten ash, atten meant to or at, and so it was literally by the ash tree. Uh, likewise, Bill Nye's last name comes from a phrase, atten ye, meaning near the lowland. So these words all gained an N, but sometimes it happens in the opposite direction too. Sometimes the words lose an N. So the word umpire used to be non pair. The word apron used to be napron. The word adder, like the snake, used to be natter. The word orange comes from the, ultimately from the Arabic nahranj. And even the British use of the word ought to mean zero comes from a Middle English word not, meaning nothing. And other languages do this kind of thing all the time too. So the place name Luxor comes from the Latin word costume, meaning camp, and it was borrowed into Arabic as al uxor, and that became reanalyzed as Luxor. The old French phrase le ejad was borrowed into English as jade. The uh, Arabic word al-ud was the name of a lute-like instrument made of wood, and it literally meant the wood, because the instrument was made of wood. And that was borrowed into English as lute. The Latin had a word lamella, meaning a thin plate, and that was borrowed into French as la lamelle, and that became a lamelle. And then for some reason they changed it to a lamet, and then they switched the sounds around and it became omelette, and that's where we get the word omelette, like the breakfast item. Latin had a word apotheca for apothecary, and that got borrowed into Italian as bottega, Spanish as bodega, and French as boutique. Old French, the word for unicorn was unicorn, and that got reanalyzed as un icorn, so they thought the word unicorn was icorn, and then it got reanalyzed again and became licorn, which is the word for unicorn today. And the word, the name for Alexander the Great in Arabic is Iksandar because in Arabic they analyze it as Al Iksandar. And then a couple other cases in English that are really fun. The word accord, like to be in accord with someone or in harmony with them, is where we get the musical sense of a chord because it's a harmony. And uh, finally, Spanish El Lagarto, the lizard, is where we get the word alligator. So you're not the first person to have this kind of mishearing. It happens all the time. We get all sorts of new words from it.